you know, there are a lot of experiments you can do in your kitchen, right in your house, that are great at showing examples of science in action. One of those we're going to show you today is called the salty carrot. And what we're going to do is look at the movement of water molecules in a solution that has salt in it compared to the movement of water molecules in a solution that does not and see how it impacts something as simple as a carrot. In our previous experiment, diet hot, diet cold, we looked at the movement of molecules based on temperature. Today we're going to look at how molecules of a substance like to be evenly spaced. And we're going to do that using a carrot and salt water. All right, so in this container, we have two carrots that have been sitting in salt water, highly concentrated for three days. And in this container, we have a carrot that's been sitting in just regular tap water. And we're going to observe uh, to see what happened to the carrot in salt water over the last three days. So these are our carrots that have been in salt water. We're going to take them out. I'm going to set them here. And I want you to make a prediction on what you think is going to happen to the carrots after they've been in salt water. So this is our carrot that's been in tap water, and you can see it's just as crispy and crunchy after being in tap water for three days. Nothing too crazy. Kind of like a normal crispy, crunchy, yummy carrot. Good stuff. However, let's check on our carrot in the salt water and see what happened. Well, here's our carrot from salt water. Doesn't appear to be quite as crispy and crunchy as the other one. Actually, not at all. Pretty flexible. That's kind of freaky. So what's happening that makes this carrot crunchy and this carrot in salt water not at all? Hey, make sure you stay tuned at the end of this video because I am going to take that carrot, dip it in glow-in-the-dark orange paint. I'm going to hit the lights, turn on the UV lights, turn on a little Grand Funk Railroad. I'm going to make that carrot dance. So, in order to try and explain what's happening here, I'm going to use my highlighter pen and a piece of construction paper. And I'm going to draw out a diagram of what's going on. So, hang tight. All right, so in our example here, we have our salty carrot in our solution. Now on the outside of the carrot, the water is very, very salty. Salt water is not very pure. It has salt in it. However, the water inside the carrot is very pure. It's just tap water. Remember, there's no salt in it. And if you recall, we said molecules of a substance like to move. They're always in motion, and they like to move until they're evenly spaced. The molecules of pure water inside the carrot don't like the fact that the salt water isn't as pure. So what ends up happening is that the pure water that gives the carrot its crispiness actually leaves the carrot, moves into the salt water solution around the carrot, trying to make it less salty. In simple terms, it's dehydrating it. This same concept is the same reason why you can't survive drinking salt water. You become dehydrated. The water that's in your cells does not like the fact that salt water is not as pure as the water that's in your cells or the water that was inside of the carrot. Dehydration occurs. Not a good thing if you're a person. Kind of creepy, kind of funky if you're a carrot. I know you want to try this experiment at home. All you need is a little salt, some carrots, and a container to put them in. And you can see molecules in motion. You can see that the molecules of a substance try to move until they're evenly spaced. And you can see science in action. In the process, you can have some fun in your kitchen at the same time. One more science term for you today. The process of the movement of molecules of water from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration until all the molecules are evenly spaced. It's called osmosis. And by the way, Mr. Jones, he don't want to be getting an email from your parents 
from your mom, your dad, or from anybody saying you trashed their kitchen doing the science experiment. So do yourself a favor. Do me a favor. Number one, ask for permission. Number two, clean up after yourself. And number three, tell them thanks for letting you learn some science at home. Hey, I thought you said you were going to make that carrot dance. <laughs> <laughs>